Hey guys, good evening and welcome to my exciting channel. We're discussing Mandela effects and the like. Thank you for joining in tonight. Welcome all Mandela effects. Hey guys. So anyway, this one comes to you tonight from Chrysalis01, um, a subscriber on my channel. And they mentioned the uh, terrorist attacks, okay? Um, apparently there was a, another unknown or little known terrorist attack on the Statue of Liberty. Um, and the date was June 3rd, 1980. Do you guys recall this incident at all? Now, I, I, I was born and raised in New York, okay? I was born in 1980, and my parents don't even remember this at all. And neither does Chrysalis 01, apparently. Um, this has got to be another one of those Mandela effects, because um, we would have been taught about the Statue of Liberty being bombed, and uh, it was bombed in 1916. Um, and again apparently in 1980. Uh, so anyway, this bomb goes off in the, uh, uh, in the, in this, in the history room and causes $18,000 worth of damage. There was no injuries or anything. Um, but I'm looking on Wikipedia. Of course, this, this could be faked. Uh, some of this could easily be faked. I understand that, but there was a, a bombing at the Statue of Liberty. It says at 7 30 PM, a time-delayed explosive device was detonated in the Statue of Liberty's story room. Sorry, I got that wrong. Um, detonated after business hours, the bomb did not injure anyone but caused $18,000 worth of damage, destroying many of the exhibits. The room was sealed off and left uh, unrepaired until the Statue of Liberty restoration project began years later. See, we would have remembered this. And the uh, FBI investigators believed the perpetrators were Croatians seeking media coverage of living conditions of Croats in Yugoslavia. Uh, it, it says here, no arrests were made. The funny thing is, there was a lot of groups that claimed they did it. It was almost like they were trying to be famous. Uh, it's almost like, you know, if, if someone discovers that um, a bank was hacked, they want to know who did it. And there's like a reward for it. So everyone's going to come and, and, and turn in somebody. So I find this newspaper back from June 4th, 1980, the bulletin. It says here, New York um, bomb explodes at Statue of Liberty. It's an article here. Um, New York, the Statue of Liberty was closed to visitors today because of a bomb blast that rocked the museum beneath the statue, destroying the exhibits and spewing rubble uh, onto the famous plaque, Give Me Your Tired, You Poor. And I know that poem exactly. Um, it's a... Uh, it was the uh, the new Colossus poem. Um, it was, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuge, uh, refuse of your teeming shores. Um, send these, the homeless tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. Uh, I, I actually was taught that in the form of a song like many years ago. And um, let's see here, the bomb... Anyway, reading the article, the bomb exploded Tuesday night in the Statues Museum of Immigration, shattering displays and pictures of thousands of immigrants whose uh, first sight of the new land was the 94-year-old uh, liberty enlightening the world. Uh, because the bomb went off more than an hour after the last visitor's boat left the island, there was no injuries. So that was good. Um, park employees estimated the damage was 15000 um, Apparently, the statue was reopened to the public like two days later, okay? As news of the explosion spread, anonymous callers saying that they represented at least four terrorist groups claimed the responsibility for the blast, but authorities said they were not taking any of them seriously. Uh, by tomorrow, everybody and their brother will have claimed they did it, <laughs> one of the FBI spokespersons said. Uh, if you bomb the Statue of Liberty, you're a terrorist. That's what somebody else said. So anyway... I find this really weird that the Statue of Liberty was attacked again in 1980. We already learned that there was this Black Tom explosion that either was covered up uh, intensely. Uh, it, apparently, it shot out a 5.5 magnitude earthquake when it was bombed around New Jersey uh, back in 1916. Um, it was either kept really, really quiet, uh, or we're just now learning about this because of the Mandela effect. I seriously think people are out there changing history. Uh, we see there's like videos on YouTube where you can find um, like in the middle of like a, um, a boxing fight, 
you can see somebody has a futuristic cell phone, it looks like, and you can find plenty of videos on YouTube about it. You have to kind of sort out what's real and what's fake. But this apparently really happened. This is crazy. So um, I find another book here on Google Books. It says here, talking about it some more. Uh, the bombing, but within days of the bombing, it was attributed to the Croatian freedom fighters. The bomb, which was placed in, on a wooden exhibit case in the museum story room, exploded at 7.25 p.m., an hour after the last fire. Okay, so that's another. Uh, the explosion carried um, a large um, section of the room ceiling or damaged, and as well as some contents of the exhibit case, including first publication of Emma Lazarus. Uh, poem, The New Colossus. So, um, there was no note. It was just it was just assumed that it was these uh, Croatian freedom fighters. But what's funny is I go to this presentation on Prezi.com about it, and um, it says the Croatian freedom fighter freedom fighters put a bomb, and they were from Yugoslavia. Um, but, I go to the uh, next couple slides here and check this out. The victims were New York. Now check the look at this. Where did it happen? It says the bomb was placed in the Statue of Liberty in the museum story room. Guess where? Ellis freaking Island. Ellis Island, New York. Now the funny thing is this person is, is like researching it and they put down Ellis Island. There's already another huge Mandela effect that people are buzzing about all around the internet right now. As to whether the Statue of Liberty is it was or is on Ellis Island or it was on Liberty Island, in my memory, um, I remember visiting uh, Ellis Island when I was a younger kid. I was uh, fourth grade, so I would have been like, um, let's see, that was back when I was about nine years old. It had to be like around eighty nine or ninety. Um, I was in fourth grade, and and we went to see Ellis Island, and I could see across the harbor was the uh, Statue of Liberty, and, and it was on Liberty Island, I was told, but there's people that have a clear memory of it being on Ellis Island, and I'm, I'm not going to dispute that, but I find this really weird how this person here is is doing a presentation, and they clearly remember Ellis Island. That's what's funny about it. So it went off at 7.29 p.m., so apparently we're getting, you know, 7.25, 7.29, roughly around that time p.m., um, and involved the Statue of Liberty, and it was in the story room. We got that. Um, so apparently it was for media coverage. They wanted to be on TV. Nobody was arrested. You see that? Why is that? Why wasn't anyone arrested? That's what I want to know. Causing $18,000 worth of damage. I mean, what what is next, guys, about the Statue of Liberty? That's what I want to know. And just so you guys know, at the base of the Statue of Liberty, there is a 12, um, it's an 11 point star. At the 11, the number 11 is really famous um, in the uh, Illuminati community. And I believe 11 means a new beginning. Um, 9 11 was attributed to the, the two buildings coming down. Uh, a lot of people think that that was perpetrated by, by within, by people within. Um, you know, w within our own country, causing that. Um, I, I don't know what to believe because there's evidence to support both sides. But I do know that column, you know, the word column, if you look at the word column, it, um, a, a column means um, it means a dove, like a turtle dove. And when you have two, it's the two turtle doves. And when you cut one off, um, it becomes just the one. So two becoming one, maybe that was a symbol for our reality shifting at that point. Maybe it was, they were trying to tell us something. Um, so uh, just be mindful that history is changing uh, left and right. Um, here's another little tidbit. Um, maybe you don't know, but in 1998, actually, yeah, 1998, uh, I believe it was around April. I have to look it up just to be sure. But um, the Columbine shooting. Okay, a lot of people, some people think it was uh, it was done in 1998. A lot of people argue it was in 1996. Um, 
It happened actually in April 20th, 1999. What? Anyway, it was it was after years after Hitler. I I don't know. I'm having a memory of it being in like 1998, but it could have been in 99. I don't know. Um, this is weird. It's it. No, no, no. This is this is just really weird, guys. Um, yeah, cause it was done. I know it was April 20th because it was to celebrate Hitler's birthday. That's that's why they did it. They did it on Hitler's birthday, April 20th. All right. Um, for the for the Columbine shooting and Columbine. Let's look at the definition for Columbine. It, actually, it's um. Let me show you column real quick, okay? Just, I'm sorry, I'm spelling it wrong. Column is an upright pillar. Uh, it's, uh, there was one about a dove. Uh, column pillar. Um, let me look it up. Give me one sec, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not prepared for that. I always like to provide new tidbits of information, anything I could find. Um, but, but yeah, turtle dove, typically it means, uh, the columns, um, I remember seeing it somewhere, guys, if you happen to find any residue, that's cool. Post it in the, in the, uh, in the comments. Thanks. The other thing I wanted to tell you was a little bit of history about Yugoslavia, actually, um, Austria, the Archduke France. Franz, spelled F-R-A-N-Z, Ferdinand. In case this ever changes, Franz Ferdinand, of he was the Archduke of Austria. When him and his wife were assassinated, um, he was killed in uh, 19... Um, assassinated in 1914, and that's basically what triggered World War I, if you remember your history, or in case this changes. All right? Anyways... Thanks, guys, for checking me out. Have a great Mandela Effect night, and God bless you all.